Have you ever found yourself reminiscing about a sitcom that brought laughter and warmth into your living room? Perfect Strangers, a television series that first graced the small screen in 1986, stands as a timeless classic that continues to hold a special place in the hearts of many. Whether it was the first time you encountered the misadventures of Balky Bardicamus and Larry Appleton or a cherished memory associated with their comical escapades, Perfect Strangers remains a beloved piece of television history. As we delve into the fascinating world of Perfect Strangers, consider the impact it had on your own life. When was the first time you tuned in to witness the odd couple dynamics of Balky and Larry? Perhaps it was a shared laughter-filled evening with family or an escape into the humor-filled world after a long day. Your initial encounter with this series may be a story worth sharing. Now, think about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Perfect Strangers. Was it an inside joke that became a part of your family lexicon? Or a moment of connection with a friend over a favorite episode? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below as they add another layer to the rich tapestry of Perfect Strangers' legacy. But before we delve into your anecdotes, let's set the stage with some random facts about the show. Perfect Strangers not only provided audiences with uproarious laughter, but also served as a cultural touchstone during its run. With its unique blend of humor and heart, the series navigated the challenges of friendship, cultural differences, and the hilarious mishaps that ensued when Balky's innocence clashed with Larry's pragmatic approach. So, whether you're a longtime fan or someone discovering the charm of perfect strangers for the first time, join us in celebrating the enduring legacy of this sitcom that continues to bring joy to viewers across generations. Share your stories, connect with fellow fans, and let's revel in the shared nostalgia that makes Perfect Strangers a timeless gem. Bronson Pinchot, who portrayed Balky Bardicamus in the TV series, aimed to distinguish his character's accent from Latka Grava's in Taxi. Unlike Latka, Balky's home country was revealed on Perfect Strangers. Mark Lynn Baker and Bronson Pinchot were the sole cast members to appear in all 150 episodes. Larry, the main character, boasted eight siblings, but only his brother Billy and sister Elaine made appearances in the show. These snippets provide insights into character development and the core cast's longevity. Mark Lynn Baker and Bronson Pinchot, the central figures in the 1986 TV series, both share a common educational background as Yale alumni. Both actors not only earned undergraduate Bachelor of Arts degrees, but also pursued graduate masters of fine arts degrees in drama from the prestigious Ivy League University. This academic connection between the main cast members adds an interesting layer to their on-screen chemistry. Interestingly, actress Belita Morno contributed to the show in a unique way. In the first two seasons, she portrayed Edwina Twinkasetti, the wife of Mr. Twinkasetti. However, in the third season, Morno took on a completely different character named Lydia, who played a more prominent role. What adds an intriguing twist to this is that Morno made her debut as Lydia surprisingly early in Season 1, Episode 5. As the series unfolds, the opening credits provide a subtle nod to another iconic show. Larry and Balky, the main characters, are seen entering a theater to watch a play. The marquee reveals it to be Neil Simon's The Odd Couple, a play that had been adapted into a TV series airing on the same network as Perfect Strangers. Notably, both shows found themselves on ABC's Friday Night lineup at various points in their run. These behind-the-scenes facts shed light on the diverse talents of the cast and offer a glimpse into the interwoven connections between Perfect Strangers and other television classics. From academic ties to dual roles, the show's richness extends beyond its surface, providing viewers with a more nuanced appreciation for the beloved 1986 series. In 1985, plans were set for a new TV series that would later become a beloved classic. However, the initial timeline faced a hurdle as Bronson Pinchot, the actor who brought Balky Bardicamus to life, was committed to another show called Sarah. When Sarah met its end, Pinchot seamlessly transitioned, and the project resumed development for its eventual 1986 debut. Beyond the behind-the-scenes shuffle, there's a quirky detail that adds charm to the series. Balky's cherished stuffed sheep has a name Dimitri. This seemingly trivial aspect reflects the show's attention to character details, creating a connection with the audience that goes beyond the plot. 
On a more subtle note, the character Larry Appleton holds a connection to Lawrence University in Appleton, Wisconsin. The choice of the name adds a touch of real-world inspiration to the character, subtly embedded in the fabric of the show. These nuances, from casting challenges to stuffed sheep names and character inspirations, contribute to the depth of perfect strangers. They offer a glimpse into the intricate decisions shaping the show, making it more than just a series, it's a collection of thoughtful choices that resonate with viewers. The iconic apartment building in Perfect Strangers underwent a subtle change in its exterior shots. In the first two seasons, the scenes were set against the backdrop of the now non-existent Santa Rita Hotel in downtown Los Angeles, California. However, by seasons three through six, the apartment building shifted to the northwest corner of West Dickens Avenue and North Clark Street in Lincoln Park, Chicago. The transition was seamless, maintaining the visual continuity of Larry and Balky's living space. Interestingly, the original Santa Rita Hotel has since been remodeled, with the upper stories removed, now housing various small shops and importers. Meanwhile, the Chicago apartment building remains largely unchanged. These location details add an intriguing layer to the show's visual consistency, highlighting the behind-the-scenes decisions that contribute to the overall aesthetic. It's a subtle but significant aspect that fans may not have consciously noticed while enjoying the on-screen antics of Larry and Balky. Bronson Pinchot almost missed out on the opportunity to play the character Balky Bardicamus in Perfect Strangers. Initially hesitant due to concerns about similarities with his role in Beverly Hills Cop, Pinchot had turned down the part. However, after a visit to Greece, inspired by the generosity of the Greek people, he had a change of heart and decided to take on the role. Throughout the series, Balky affectionately refers to his roommate Larry as cousin. This endearing term is consistently used by Balky, creating a unique dynamic between the two characters. Even when mentioned in the third person, Larry is always cousin Larry to Balky. In the aftermath of Perfect Strangers' eighth and final season in 1993, Bronson Pinchot, and Mark Lynn Baker ventured into new projects. Pinchot starred in the short-lived sitcom The Trouble with Larry, where he portrayed an American named Larry. Coincidentally, Lynn Baker, who played an American named Larry on Perfect Strangers, co-starred in the premier Broadway production of Neil Simon's Laughter on the 23rd Floor, playing a Russian immigrant. These intriguing behind-the-scenes details showcase the twists and turns that shaped the beloved TV series. From Pinchot's initial hesitation to the endearing relationship between Balky and Larry and the actor's post-perfect strangers projects, there's more to the story than what meets the eye. Dive into the fascinating world of perfect strangers and the unique journeys of its cast members. As we bid adieu to the labyrinth of whimsical tales spun by the classic television series, let your mind wander down memory lane where Balky and Larry's endearing escapades etched themselves into the annals of your personal nostalgia. Take a moment to ponder the threads that connect you to the delightful antics of two contrasting souls navigating the tapestry of friendship and misunderstandings. As we unravel the tapestry of perfect strangers, we invite you to weave your own recollections into its rich fabric. Share the laughter that resonated with your own experiences and the quirky wisdom that lingered in the air long after the credits rolled. Reflect on the subtle life lessons and the undeniable charm that transcends time. Whether you found a mirror in Balky's wide-eyed innocence or Larry's pragmatic wisdom, there's a piece of this sitcom nestled in the recesses of your own journey. Perfect Strangers was more than a show, it became a companion on the winding road of life, a beacon of hilarity in the mundane, and a reminder that the most unexpected connections often yield the fondest memories. So, dear friend, let your thoughts unfurl like the opening sequence of an unforgettable sitcom. Share your musings, anecdotes, and insights about this timeless show that stirred the human spirit. Your stories become a continuation of the narrative, breathing life into the legacy of perfect strangers. Thank you for taking this nostalgic stroll with us. Your time and reminiscences are treasures, and we appreciate the shared connection through the lens of this iconic series. Until our paths cross again in the corridors of cherished memories, stay whimsically connected to the laughter that lingers in the echoes of perfect strangers. Crafted with a touch of sitcom magic and a dash of heartfelt reflection, 